How you doing? I'm Matt Walden, Pro Drifter, and today we're here with Mishimoto and their 1990 Mazda Miata. Today we're going to be installing this performance fan shroud along with their performance radiator to keep this Mazda Miata cool on and off the track. For the 1990 Mazda Miata Mishimoto radiator and fan shroud installation, you will need a set of Lyman's pliers, Phillips head screwdriver, flat blade screwdriver, a set of crimpers and strippers, some butt connectors, electrical tape, 12 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter socket, a couple ratchets, coolant, and a coolant funnel. Installation difficulty is a four out of five due to wiring, and this installation will take you approximately an hour and a half to two hours. First step, is to remove the negative battery terminal, which is located in the trunk. First order of business is jack up the car, support it securely on jack stands, and that way we can drain the coolant out of it. And directly in the center of the car, right, there's a hole in the splash shield here. There's a Phillips head screw. That's the drain plug for the radiator. To aid in the coolant draining, just pop off the radiator cap. She should come pouring right out like that. While you're waiting for the coolant to drain, now's a good time to go to the store and grab more antifreeze for when we refill the system. All right, as soon as you drain the coolant, take off the upper radiator hose here and these two hose clamps. Pull the hose off. Get our lower splash shield. As you can see, this is only, only the finest in splash shields for the Miata here. All right, once the splash shield's off, you can go ahead and loosen these clamps by squeezing them together like so, sliding them down the hose a little bit. And giving a little bit of a twist here. And you're gonna want to watch out for that. You got a little bit of coolant coming out. Now, while you're down here, there's a couple other things that you're gonna to wanna to do as well. You wanna disconnect these lines right here, which are the air conditioner lines if your Miata is so equipped with air conditioning. Two 10 millimeter bolts on the bottom of the radiator holding the AC lines on. All right, so that's it for the underneath work. Let's head back upstairs and uh, finish her up, how about it? All right, next step, take off the coolant reservoir overflow line. Just tuck that guy off to the side there. And there's two 12 millimeter head bolts that are on either side of the radiator. The cameraman wants to come right over here and check this out. It's time to take it off. The other one being right on top of the other fan on the left. After you get those loosened up, you wanna unplug the fans. One of them being on the right side. The other one being right on top of the other fan on the left. All right, lift the radiator and fan assembly straight out of the engine bay. You wanna note that these right here hold the radiator in on the lower hooks. All right guys, here is the differences between the OE and the Mishimoto radiators. OE, as you can tell, is about half as thick as the Mishimoto. It's about half the cooling power as well. So I don't know about you, but I like full-time throttle, which this guy will support here. This, this is for your mom or pops that's gonna be cruising around town doing 30 miles an hour everywhere. This is for the Miata that really likes to move. The Mishimoto radiator comes with a magnetic drain plug on the bottom here, so no need to worry about any metal particles in your cooling system. The other nice thing about the Mishimoto Rad is they're all aluminum. There is no plastic parts on this, uh, completely TIG welded. You really can't find a better product on the market today as far as cooling goes for the Miata. And this also comes with a lifetime warranty. Time to move forward with our installation. And the one thing we do have to transfer over from the old radiator is this plug right here. And this is the lower rad support for this car. This is held on with a C-clip and you just take a flathead screwdriver Pop that guy out right there. As 
Same thing with the upper mount on the OE rad. You're gonna take these pieces and slide it right into the upper mounting location on the Mishimoto radiator. And you wanna do the same thing on the other side too. And we're ready to install our Mishimoto fan shroud kit. Use the original bolts from the car that came out of the original fans to secure these to the radiator. We almost got the fans on here. And you can already notice how much slimmer the whole product is compared to the OEM stuff. Really, if you've got a turbo or a supercharger application on your car, these are exactly what you need to make more room in the engine bay. You can almost get in there and work on it with the engine. All right, that about sums it up for the rad and the fan install. We're about ready to put this guy right back in the car. Keep this Miata cool for a long time. These right here are the holsters for the lower pegs that we installed on the radiator earlier. As you can see, the radiator will slide right down into here. And you need to make sure of that when you install the rad back in the, back in the car. Just like you pull the radiator out, the OE one, the Mishimoto will drop right in. Make sure that you're sliding the lower pegs right into those slots that we had mentioned earlier. All right, now that we got the lower pegs in place, what we're gonna do is put the upper screws back in, the ones that you took out earlier, they are 12 millimeter heads. Make sure the radiator is securely mounted. You can put the uh, radiator overflow tube back on. Nice little holster for it, thank you Mishimoto. We're gonna go ahead and put the splash shield back on now and then move up to, up, up to the top. When you're using the Mishimoto fan kit, you wanna reuse the connectors from the OE fans. That way, if you ever need to remove the radiator and fans for any reason, you can easily disconnect them with the factory plugs. This is the driver's side and or left side of the car fan wiring harness, which plugs in directly to the left of the headlight. Here we're installing butt connectors so that we can attach this to the Mishimoto fan wiring. The factory connector on this Miata comes with a black and a blue wire coming off of the fan harness. These directly match up with the Mishimoto and the blue will connect to the blue and the black will connect to the black. Once you butt connect it together, pull on it, make sure it's not gonna come out, because if it does, you run the risk of overheating the car, so make sure your connections are good here. After you're done, wrap it up with electrical tape and plug her in. On the right side of the car, the connector is a white connector for the fans. This is coming from the fan, from the stock fan, and we're gonna wire this into the Mishimoto fan. Same applies on this side. There's one black wire and one blue wire. Only, the only difference on the right side of the car is the blue is a black with a blue tracer. The black with a blue tracer is going to go with the solid blue on the Mishimoto fan, and the black from the Mishimoto fan will go directly to the black from the engine harness. After you have everything butt connected together, make sure you wrap it in electrical tape, plug it in, and tuck it out of the way of any moving parts over here as well. This is the home stretch, kids. By this time, you'd be ready to be done this project. Tighten these guys down, and we're ready to fill her up. All right, insert the radiator funnel, and 
put it in a 50-50 mix of antifreeze and distilled water. I like to put in a little bit of liquid chill if you want to make a little uh, coolant salad out of it. That stuff works the best. While you're filling it, it's a good idea to pump the upper hose. That way you get any last bit of air out of the cooling system. Now that the battery's hooked up, we're ready to fire this puppy up. Make sure it's in neutral and or park before you go ahead and do, do so, because we're gonna leave it on the jack stands for a moment until it's completely bled out. After you got it running, turn the heat on high and wait till you have heat out in, the, in here to put the radiator cap back on. After you start the vehicle, you wanna watch the temperature gauge on the dash and make sure it doesn't overheat. This concludes the installation portion of your new Mishimoto product.